break away, fight out the hoe. Terrible song. Why is that in my head? Stupid TikTok. Stupid freaking TikTok. And stupid, you guys keep asking for a Rachel's room. So here you go. No, my hair is wet. I just took a shower. No one's gonna wash this. No one's gonna find it interesting. But for some reason, y'all really wanted someone think this. I get flustered when I'm angry with you. Can you get cozy with me? I want to be cozy. <gasps> Hi, welcome to Rachel's room. We're like every six months, I'll answer some questions. And that's the whole thing. Merry Christmas. Let's begin. Oh, you are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? But like, really, how are you? Well, John, John Wadia, John Wadia, underscore, John Wadia, 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 John W. Adia, underscore. Is that underscore family name? How am I but like really? I'm good. I am, I am truly, I am good. Hi Snoop. Did you finish your dental bone so you came in here? Don't cock your head. I'm not giving you another one. You get one a day. You get one a day. It's over. You ate one bar of crack today. You don't get another. It may seem like I'm not okay, but I am genuinely okay. As much as this year has been a bunch of poop on poop, I'm actually pretty good. And I didn't think I would be. I thought this year was gonna get to me in the end and it didn't. I'm good. So. Thank you for genuinely asking. I am actually fantastic. Worst period story. I feel like I've told these before, but again, I've been on the internet a long time. I've told stories many times over the years, the same one over and over again, but like it's, they get lost in videos because I've posted so many videos. Worst period story. Okay. The first worst one, high school, freshman year. Yeah. Freshman year of high school. I wore tan shorts to school and at lunchtime I was like, oh, my stomach hurts. Oh my God. Why does my stomach hurt? We had four periods. We had two like in school, like school sections, four periods. We had two, then lunch, then two. So at lunch, my stomach really hurt. And then I sat through third period. My stomach really hurt the whole time. I was like, why does my stomach hurt so much? This is so weird. And then at fourth period, they took roll and I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. And I realized I had bled all through my tan shorts and everywhere. And I was new to, I didn't get my period until freshman year of high school. So it was one of my first few periods. So I didn't understand what cramps were, didn't understand any of that. Obviously I knew I was having my period once I realized there was blood everywhere. Um, so I called my mom from the bathroom. <laughs> she brought me new, pa new pants and I texted my best friend who was in the class with me. And I was like, I have a period problem cover for me. And my mom had to bring me pants to the bathroom of my high school. And I just know that walking from third period to fourth period, people had to have seen the blood on my shorts. It was everywhere. And no one has ever said anything to me, but I just, I know they saw, I know they saw. There there was no way they couldn't have seen. And my second worst period story, I get really bad cramps. I always have, clearly, it's like since the beginning, I had really bad cramps. But then after college, my legs started doing this thing. My period is, it's very random as to when it's gonna start, but once it starts, it's got a program, it has a system, it has a routine. I go cramps and then my legs started to do this thing where they go like numb and it's like I can't stop moving them, they get numb and sore at the same time. And the only way to make it go away is to move constantly. Like, so now when I get my period, I get cramps, my legs go numb, tingly, sore. It's like they're like, I just like want to massage them and move them. And this happens like intensely for one to two hours if I do all the right things. If I don't do all the right things, it will last all day. The right things, meaning drink a glass of water, eat a banana, take some idol, take some CBD oil, and walk around in circles for an hour. That's how I handle my cramps and legs. But when I was traveling with Colleen, I was stuck on an airplane when my period started. And I had a tampon, but I didn't have Midol or a banana or CBD oil and I couldn't walk around. So my legs started getting extreme pain all down them. I couldn't stop moving. My cramps were killing me. I was in the middle seat and I was freaking out, rubbing my legs. I started crying. And the lady next to us, cause I was in the middle seat. It was Colleen on one side and this lady on the other. The lady was like, ah, uh, scared of flying? Like she was stressed because I'm sitting there sobbing, constantly just doing this. I'm like, this is how I looked. Middle seat. This is me. I was like, no, 
I started my period and she just was looked so confused. I felt so bad for her. Finally we landed and I walked around the air, the baggage claim for like a half hour waiting for the bags and I finally started feeling better. But it is this really weird thing. Apparently it's rare, but it happens. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but your legs go crazy basically. You just have to move them around. So I've learned how to handle it, but when, it, when I can't handle it, it's the worst. So uh, that's all. Those are the two that come to mind. I know I've started my period in an airplane multiple times just because I traveled so much with Colleen over the years, but those, those were my two. I bled through my tan shorts and the lady next to me just saw me, just thought I was having a breakdown, which I was, but not about flying. Thoughts on tattoos and piercings. If that's your jam, do it. I've seen uh, beautiful tattoos. Some people look so attractive with tattoos. Some people look so attractive with multiple piercings. I don't do tattoos just because I change my mind so frequently on stuff. Like my hobbies change, my interests change. I just like, I don't feel like that's my vibe. And also multiple piercings don't feel like my vibe, but there are some people who look so much better with it than without. So like, do you, your body, your choice, it doesn't matter to me. If that's you, do you girl or boy. What video do you wanna film but can't because of COVID-19? I wanna do another craft competition between Jojo, me, and Colleen, and Corey. Cause I had so much fun doing the ugly Christmas sweater back in 2019. We did an ugly Christmas sweater competition. I had so much fun doing that. Colleen and Jojo are extremely competitive and very creative. So when you give them a craft to do and say that they're challenging each other, it's a lot of fun. And then of course, Corey's involved too cause he doesn't get competitive. He just is a silent genius and like beats everyone at the competition, which stresses everyone else out because they tried so hard. Anyway, I really want to do another competition, but we can't. Stupid COVID. Do you ever regret getting a job where you share your life? Yes, sometimes. No. Well, it's complicated. There's no black or white here. This is very much a gray area in life. Stop emailing people. I am in the, my Etsy shop. My special delivery's on my way. What did I get? <gasps> Present is coming. When does it get here? Track package. It did not ship on the 14th. How, out for delivery. But when does it get here? I ordered this November 29th. <gasps> I'm supposed to get it today? <sighs> I get my Etsy package today. Oh my God, it's the thing I bought for Queen. I'm very excited. And then what else emails did I get? I oh, want a, a keto slim diet. I don't, I don't diet. That's no. Back to this. Do I ever regret getting a job where you share your life? Um, I think yes and no. It's a thing. I absolutely love my job. I don't want a different job. This is the job. I don't regret this job at all. But I am someone who does like to have a personal life outside of my job. But that gets really difficult when your job is like filming your whole life and people who watch you, they want to know everything about you. And I understand that. It, but it does get frustrating sometimes where it's like, I don't want to share certain things, but people really want to know everything. And I try really hard to set boundaries and people know I set boundaries, but they still go, I know you don't want to talk about it. I know this is personal. Uh, excuse me if this is too personal, but, and they just like kind of keep asking anyway. I get it and I'm not mad about it, but I just try really hard to keep my personal and professional life not so they're not separate because my professional life is so ah, it is so difficult. They all intermingle. But there are certain things I don't like to talk about on the internet or don't like to share on the internet for personal reasons. And it is kind of difficult because it's the internet and everything's out there and people want to know as much as they can. I get that. So I don't regret it. Sometimes it's like hard, but I don't regret it in the slightest and I wouldn't change this job for anything. And it's just, I feel like I just have to be a little bit more emotionally stronger than other humans and have like thicker skin and be confident in who I am and strong strong in my positions and just like know this is what I want to share and what I don't share and people can ask as much as they want and it doesn't mean I'm going to share. Um, I'm stubborn. I'm very stubborn and the more people want to know something the more I don't want to tell them. <laughs> So that kind of works. I don't cave very often if I've decided I'm not gonna tell the internet something. I just kind of don't cave. But yeah, I don't regret it in the slightest. It does get hard, but I wouldn't change the job for anything. Your favorite item of clothing that you own, currently wearing it. have a TikTok. How dare you? Yes, I have a TikTok. I post very sporadically. Sometimes I'll post four times in one day. Sometimes I won't post for a week, but it happens. I haven't quite found my niche, 
my little what I do. I'll get there one day maybe, and I also can't tell what's gonna go viral or not. It's very random on TikTok. But yes, I do have a TikTok, and I have fun with it, and I scroll on TikTok every single day, and it's amazing. Where did you learn to woodwork be so, slash be so handy around the house? Um, I have always been into tools and building. Uh, I really liked Lego growing up, and I loved like acting like I could build things. My dad had lots of tools in the garage, and I was always allowed to play with them. I don't know, I was the last kid, so my parents were like, where's Rachel? I think she's in the garage, whatever. And I'm just like out there playing with like hammers and screws and stuff. But I was always interested on in how things worked and how to build things. I don't know why, it was just always an interest of mine. And so my dad always let me help him around the house. Whenever he had to do stuff, I liked learning how he did it. And then my sister was doing a summer theater production. I think of a good man, Charlie Brown. And my brother Christopher came over to build some of the sets and he let me help him. And that was, I think my first woodworking project is helping him build sets for your good man, Charlie Brown. And I so very much enjoyed that, like so much. Cause like we built something from nothing. We just had a pile of wood and some screws and some paint and we built things. And it was so cool to me. In high school I had to pick an elective and I suck at art. And everyone just immediately took art. And I was like, I can't draw, I can't paint. It doesn't relax me. It doesn't intrigue me. And I saw we had a woodworking class and I was like taking it. I loved it so much. I think I took two classes of that. And then it was just like, that was just kind of always in me. Like just, I got addicted to it. I loved it so much. Just building something from nothing is so cool to me. I toured with Colleen and sh I had to make props and I had to learn how like things worked. And I had to fix things all the time for her. And then, so I've always just like wanted to do more and more. And then I finally got a house and I was like, I can do it all. I can. There's some things I'd rather do than others. There's some things where I'm like, I could do it, but a professional could do it better and quicker. But yeah, I just like, it was just kind of always something I was interested in. And I slowly got experience over the years and then got to buy my own house and do whatever I wanted to it. And the more you do, the more you learn and the better you get. So that's all. I, no, not really. I mean, in theory, but not in practice. Do you have sensitive teeth? And for those asking yesterday what my popsicle was, was an orange creamsicle with coconut milk. Dairy-free, organic, and gluten-free. Oh no, my teeth are not sensitive. I can bite straight into popsicles, ice cream, and ice. What has been your worst baking fail? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I know random, but I love your videos. Um, I don't bake a lot. I've recently been trying to learn how to cook. I've been getting into cooking. It's actually easier than I thought it was. Like, I thought it was really difficult. It's not, I'm figuring it out. But baking, I would say the funniest one I think is on camera, it was Back in college, me and my friend Rachel Wintling wanted to make, I think, cookies. And we put wax paper instead of parchment paper on the baking sheet and put it in the oven. And so it just started burning because it was wax paper and it smelled, it filled up the whole apartment. I mean, I'm sure I've had worse fails than that, but I just remember that one specifically. And uh, yeah, you learn as you go. You learn as you go. You gotta sometimes fail to understand and learn. What breeds are Snoop? I don't know. Should I do a DNA test on him? I like never cared about that, but I feel like I should. I don't, what is he? I don't know what he is. He has like some pit bull in him. And so he's just labeled a pit bull, even though I think he's more lab Dalmatian hound dog than anything else. I feel like I should do a DNA test on him. Maybe that would help with his allergies. If like we knew what we were working with. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a DNA test on him. Did you play sports as a kid? Yeah, I did. T-ball, softball, soccer, basketball. Then I did theater for four years. Five years? Five years. And then in college I played football. So I was, I did it all. I love sports and now I play basketball again. All right, that's it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Those are all the answers. Those are all the questions I chose to answer. I love you guys. Thanks for asking things on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I usually ask questions. You never know what I'm going to ask. So you got to just keep watching if you want your question answered. I love you guys so much. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. T Thursday will be Christmas Eve and I will be posting Colleen's and my annual awkward Christmas song dance music video. So prepare yourselves for that. I love you lots. This coming Monday is the last last podcast until February 1st. So check out my podcast channel, all things internet, or wait until February 1st and check it out then when we have a brand new season coming out. You're all beautiful. You're wonderful. Vlogmas is still happening over on my vlog channel. And yeah, be good, be cool, be smart. You're perfect. You're full of fully perturbed.